Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you guys six different stair layouts you can use in your V Rising castles to help make it look more visually appealing and maybe stand out from the rest. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the first example uh, I have here uses two different staircases. They're both the L-shaped ones. This one is right side L-shape and this one is also right side L-shape. If you notice here, we have a perfect square in the center of four different tile squares. And I happen to have this little um, archway here, this fortified archway. You don't have to put that there. You can just have, you know, have it empty, but it does create a little bit of uh, variety, visual variety, and a little bit of a unique look to it. So you could imagine, uh, let's say you walk into a home and you, maybe you see one staircase, you're like, oh, okay. And maybe you'll head up this way. I'm actually going to switch to my wolf horn to be a little bit faster. And maybe you'll go this way. Maybe you go that way. There's a room on either side. Or there could be rooms heading this way or the opposite way. And then you go back down the stairs. But this time you're in the second half of the castle. So you could close up the center. There's plenty of things you can do here. But I just wanted to show with just one simple square and having two um, L-shaped right side. You could also do this with left side. You could do a reverse of this uh, with L-shaped staircases and a square in the center. You already have an interesting looking doorway here. And in a way, if you were to put, let's say, uh, castle pillars here to maybe uh, spruce it up a little bit, maybe add a little bit more believability to this build. Now you have a new uh, hallway area here. Maybe this might be a long hallway. Maybe this is an L-shaped hallway. There's a lot of different things you can do with this space. Let's move on to example number two. So for example number two, this is something that I see in a lot of castles, very classic, uh, where you'll have two different staircases that are usually both, you know, opposite sides of each other. This is something that I see in a lot of castle builds, but you know, just because it is popular doesn't necessarily mean that it is a bad thing. So I figure I'd add it here. For example, number two, um, we have two different staircases. So we have the right side L shape and we have the left side L shape staircases. And then in the center, this could lead to a much bigger room, maybe a dining room, maybe an arena, maybe something else. You know, you could you could maybe build a bunch of squares. Uh, sorry, a bunch of floor tiles going through here and then you could connect it and maybe have like an overview of something. You could also make a balcony here or something to maybe uh, look outside and be like, oh, wow, nice balcony. Um, this area down here could lead to maybe uh, a little cozy room in the back. You could have maybe one doorway here to the center that leads to a bedroom. I mean, you could also something else that might be a little bit more advanced would be if you were to take two sides here right and maybe you'll have a hallway this way maybe you have a straight hallway going this way and oh if i turn right here and you know i go through here okay that's different uh you could just like close this up right so you have different combinations of things you could do and by doing this by adding this space here this also kind of gives you an opportunity to add a little bit of decoration, even if you don't decide to incorporate two hallways in that space. So, uh, for example, you might have like a statue here and a statue there for some symmetry. And maybe you have uh, two different things, uh, two different walls on each side blocking that path. And uh, you could do things like, for example, you could put like maybe a fire place here. You could put uh you know maybe a, a little couch here or something uh maybe a nice little cozy area and uh usually when you see a little cozy area like that it's probably one square or one tile further back than what i'm currently showing you but i hope this kind of gives you like another idea of what you could do with just two staircases in this case um let's go over to the next example i want to show you guys example i think this one's number three yep this is example number three this is what i like to call the bridge um this is also an incorporation of two different staircases l side and r side st uh, staircases so this is basically the exact same staircases you saw here and instead of having the staircases face the inside here through the center 
now you have them through the sides and that creates kind of a bridge here now i like to call it the bridge because obviously it does look like a bridge right and what's really cool about this is that in theory you could set up maybe some foundational squares here create like a little balcony or something to like an outdoor area you could maybe use this to create a pathway to a long hallway that is also a really good option uh, something I like to do is maybe uh, put down a uh, fireplace in front of this area so uh, for example if I were to take my decoration here and let's say I had a fireplace here now I've created a kind of a living room or lounge area and you could put your sofas and stuff here and behind the fireplace you could leave about one square distance away or one square distance or half a square even and you'll have plenty of space to move behind it and this could lead to like a private room. Uh, I did something like this in one of my castles so far that I'm kind of working on and I'll show a picture of what I'm talking about here of what this particular layout could look like with furniture. So that way you guys have a better idea uh, as far as like you know an example of the bridge in uh context uh so let's look at the next example this is example number four this example is different from the others because this is something that uses a thick staircase so a double wide staircase leading up to two other double wide staircases now you could also do this with the singular staircases this doesn't have to be double wide but i just use double wide just to show a little bit more variety because we do have two different types of stairs uh so if you notice here this brings up uh, this brings you up to it another square in the center and you can either have like maybe two different uh, hallways leading out or going in other directions or maybe you might have just one uh, big gate so like for example if I were to take uh, this wall here and do a wide That's entrance right uh, well actually let me just remove this so you guys can see so if I were to do a wide entrance there for example that could maybe lead up to a completely different part of the castle maybe an outdoor area maybe it's a, a dining room you know uh, maybe it's a library you can literally put anything you want there another option too is because you have the square space you could in theory uh, maybe make a small sitting area that maybe leads up to bigger and better things and uh, by the time you end up up here now you're on the third floor and you could go back around and maybe uh, create a uh, maybe like a rectangular or square like uh, overhang that allows you to see guests when they enter your castle so let's say the front door is like here and let's say you're going uh you know to make that little overhang i'll show you guys what, what i mean by that so like let's say we make our overhang we're kind of headed in this direction you know and oh look i can look over the balcony and i can see um you know people here uh this is a little bit kind of blocked off just because i have a second i have another example behind this one but if i didn't have that example there i would have made the squares go all the way over like this maybe and then uh you know by the time you're done with this massive uh rectangle from any corner of that rectangle you can or not even corner but any side of that rectangle you could see the castle entrance this creates a very grand feel to your castle uh whenever someone enters your castle and they see this big wide open space it it makes the castle kind of look bigger than it actually is upon entry um, something that's really cool about this is that you can use that to basically create a hidden room. So you can do like a hidden room. This space here in particular with this size would make a good dining room or hidden area. So let's say you want to invite your guests and you're like, oh, guests, come here, check out my little uh, library or check out my private bedroom. Um, and the thing is, because this is double wide, you could cut it in half. So now you have two rooms, right? So you know, maybe you set up two different rooms for two different purposes and you have maybe like a frame here and here, right? So now you have two separate rooms or you can take this and have it lead as like just maybe one straight hallway going straight down just to basically traverse the wide side of the castle. It really depends on where you lay this back. But typically when you use a staircase combo like this, people tend to use it a little bit of a distance from the door so i would recommend if you're going to use something like this 
maybe do uh, maybe like at least three tiles away from the front door if you can, depending on how big your uh, plot is and the shape of it and the orientation of your staircases. But yeah, uh, you can do that. You can not only create rooms back here in the little hidden area, you can maybe create another door here that leads into like some other uh, part of your castle. So yeah, this is a really, really versatile uh, build. You can also do this, like I said, with the uh, single wide staircases. Uh, as opposed to the double wide and if you really wanted to um in theory you could also maybe even take your time and create a uh, another staircase here and maybe add it to the edge so that is all, another very valid option that you could probably go with here and you can create uh, all types of cool things with your staircases. So yeah, that, that's another really really good one. I, I see this one a lot in um, the more I don't know if the word is like grandiose that I want to say, but in the more uh, exaggerated or grand castles, they usually go with this kind of uh, entryway. Okay, let's go to example number five because we this is four, so we're going to go to example number five. This is what I like to call the uh, up and down staircase or kind of like a, a zigzag staircase. Um, there are technical terms for these things, but I'm not like an interior designer or anything like that, so I can't like use proper terms. So I'm just going to kind of use layman terms here. Uh, so yeah, you uh, layman's terms, uh, basically a zigzag staircase. And basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to see two different parts of the staircase from the front. So you see two staircases side to side. You create this um, angle here, this almost Pac-Man like angle uh, on the staircase. And of course, you could put up your walls here to create you know, maybe a little bit more of a solid uh, closing, but that's not necessarily uh, what you're going to want to do. It really depends on how you prefer to build, right? And the cool thing about this is that you can put either a entrance here that leads to like one big room, or you can maybe uh, split this off and have entrances going this way and this way front to back. So if you have a hallway on the sides of your castle, this could be a nice little uh, nook here that you can kind of uh, turn around and run and if you decide to add uh, maybe some extra space here you can maybe add a couple of like little uh, sitting areas you know maybe a couple of tables and chairs maybe some chess boards or something uh, so yeah it gives you a little bit more of a, an option and this does bring you up to the third floor as well so you can only really put the two staircases like that assuming you're using uh, normal settings for the game and uh, yeah, so if you're going to do a three story castle, the zigzag uh, method is also really nice and it looks really cool from far away as well. So uh, I would recommend using something like this on the outside of your castle. Uh, so if you have like a garden in the front, but you want to be able to traverse all the way up to the third floor without having to go inside. Uh, a staircase like this could actually look really really nice if you put it like maybe on the front of your building or on the side or something like that and it could definitely uh, fulfill that purpose and be really really just visually different um, you don't see this layout a lot the zigzag layout I don't see as much it's not as popular as like uh, let's say this layout here with the uh, double wide staircases or even this one which I like to uh, this is one of my favorites um, as well so that's another uh, good one to look at and last but not least we're going to look at example number six so example number six i put together here is actually also two staircases so this basically uh, does the opposite of what the double wide does so for example this staircase is a straight single staircase just like the, the zigzags right which I should have mentioned before, this is not an L-shaped staircase. These are um, these are straight staircases. So if you put a straight staircase here and a straight staircase there, as people are traversing up and down, you could put like a, a nice little balcony area here, you know, in front. So like, for example, let's say um, I add like a little balcony here, you know, and I, I'm kind of looking, right? Just imagine, and let's say the castle entrance is like over here somewhere in the distance. Uh, it's going to look really, really cool with you standing all the way up here, just getting a nice view uh, of the 
people downstairs in your castle. So, uh, you know, if you have any visitors, that's definitely something really cool to look at. Um, what I really, really like about this uh, build, and the reason why I, I say that this is the opposite kind of of the double wide, is because of the door placement. So with the double wide, I'm going to go back to example number four here. Uh, the door is one wall away from the staircase. Whereas for this one, we're using the single wide staircases, but it's a straight staircase as well. And we're using this space here to create a hallway. Now you could put maybe um, like a door entrance here. Like for example, if I were to take this at a door entrance here, a door entrance here, and oh, look, there's a hallway this way. Or oh, look, there's a hidden room over here. You know, you could do like little nooks and crannies here. Maybe add, um, you know, a small little room, something visually uh, interesting there, just to kind of make a nice cohesive experience for anyone touring your castle. But I really, really, really like, and, th and I think this is kind of underrated. I really like, but I really like when people put like hallways next to their stairs because it kind of makes you feel like, okay, well, do I go up the stairs? Do I go straight through? And it kind of forces you to explore the castle a little bit more as a casual tourist. So yeah, I, I think this is definitely a very visually appealing thing to do. You could, uh, you know, if you wanted, you could add maybe like a... Uh, a door here and it's just it just looks so nice um when it's finished so yeah uh these are my six examples of different staircase layouts you can use in your castles hopefully you guys found this useful i get a lot of questions about layouts um i decided to just do one focusing on stairs for now um but if there's other ones you'd like me to make make sure to leave a comment uh down below and uh, underneath the video and I'll take a look. I read every single comment. So feel free to uh, let me know what it is you guys are struggling with when it comes to building your V Rising castles. For those of you who don't know, my name is Shiloh Q. I am a Shiloh's Quaintly Reaper and Guide to the Underworld. I stream three times a week on Twitch, Kick, and YouTube. And if you want to catch me playing some V Rising, you can catch me on Thursdays. Thursdays is when I usually stream the game. So uh, I do a lot of castle decorating on stream and things like that. So feel free to stop by and say hello. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day. And as always, Sholo out.